In this example, we're going to solve this linear system using substitution. So recall that the first step of substitution is to solve one of these equations for a particular variable. Well, it seems like both equations have already been solved for y. It was given to us that way. So what I can say now is that in the first equation, 6x minus 20 is equivalent to y. So what happens is that I can take this 6x minus 20 and I can substitute it in for the y of the other equation. So what that's going to look like then, so this y now becomes 6x minus 20 and it's going to be set equal to negative 2x plus 12. So now, because of this substitution, I have a single equation with a single variable instead of having two equations with two variables. So I can go ahead and solve this equation. I'm going to first of all add 2x to both sides to eliminate the x's from the right. And I'm going to add 20 to both sides in order to eliminate the constants from the left. So when I add all these up, I have 8x equals 32. So I'm going to divide everything by 8, and x is going to equal 4. So now that I know the value for x, I'm going to plug it back in to one of these original equations, and I'm going to get the value for y. So let's go ahead and plug it back into the first one, where y was equal to 6x minus 20. So y equals 6 times my x value, which is 4 minus 20. So 24 minus 20 is going to also be 4. So the ordered pair that will function as the solution to this linear system is going to be 4, 4. If I was going to classify this linear system, it would classify as consistent and independent because these two lines intersect at a single point, and that ordered pair is 4, 4.